Greetings fellow mathematical explorers and welcome to this third expedition in a video safari of Euclid's Elements. For your own safety from ferocious geometric beasts. Even more. While out in the bush, please slap like on this video, press subscribe, and of course, ring the bell. Our map for every journey, let's get this tilted right, is Euclid's Elements, all 13 books complete in one volume. It is published by Green Lion Press and used with permission. For book one, proposition three, we have two straight lines. Let's make the pinky one, the forefinger the other. How do we cut a piece of the larger line that is exactly equal to the shorter line? Or as Heath's translation says, given two unequal straight lines to cut off from the greater a straight line equal to the less. Do you have your sunscreen, your bug spray, your safari hat? Hop onto the Land Cruiser right there and make sure in your first aid kit you've got a circle. Okay, can you see my screen? Am I pointing down? Let's see. Can you see my screen? We've got the two lines there, right? Which one's smaller? That's right. It is C. Does that look like a C to you? It is C. And what we want to do is we want to cut off exactly the length of C from AB. So take line C, we want something exactly the length of C to be cut off from AB. What's our first step? What we're gonna do is draw a, another line off A that is the same length of C. And you're gonna say, Alan, that's not fair, that's pixie dust. But it's not. Go to the second expedition in a video safari of Euclid's Elements or book one, proposition number two, and I'll tell you exactly how to do that. So we're almost there. You can see down bottom here, we only have three steps. What did I tell you to put in your first aid kit? That's right, a circle. So let's go ahead and do that. We draw the circle. When we draw the circle, what we do is we get another point on the line AB, point E. And what we know is this. We know that AD is equal to C, because that's why we made it that way. And we know that AD being a radius, A to D being a radius, and a to E being a radius, those have to be equal. And what does that mean? That means that AE is the same length as C. Now let's let's go ahead and use PowerPoint to kind of make sure I point it out, don't lose it. I've done the first two videos, I didn't do any drawing on it. So I figured I'll do a PowerPoint at the end. So think of it this way. We had our first line, AC, not AC, our first line, C. Then we created our line, AD exactly the same length as C. And then we created a circle with the, basically A as the center and D, AD as the radius. And we created a circle all the way around. And that caused an intersection at E, meaning that we created the line AE. We know that C is the same length as AD. And we know that AD is the same length as AE, which means that C is the same length as AE, right? So we've got C equals A, this never works right for me here, which equals AE. Thus, C equals AE. Are you gonna come out there? I think so. Looks like it's working. But quoting Heath's translation again, therefore, Given the two straight lines from AB, or the two straight lines AB, C, from AB, the greater AE has been cut off equal to C, the less, being what was required to do. Well, fellow geometric explorer, congratulations on surviving another excursion into the bush. Before we wrap up, please remember to check out this video's description to find out how you can get your own copy of the Green Lion Press's Euclid's Elements, all 13 books complete in one volume. A shout out to IUE, Indiana University East, where I'm working on my mathematics degree. Their online offerings make it so that I can study the subject that I love and still feed my family. Go Red Wolves! Thanks for joining this outing in the video safari of Euclid's Elements. Come back soon. Please be sure 
to press like on this video, subscribe to the math.promo channel, and to ring the bell for notices when we will climb on the Land Cruiser. Oh, wrong one. Climb on the Land Cruiser for the next trek into the mathematical bush. There we go. Please visit the math.promo website for links to this and all previous outings. Well, it's time to head back to the lodge. See you again soon. Bye.